Welcome back everyone for another version of Express Court. All right, so for Express Court, we're gonna dive into today, Still Austin. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of this bad boy. So Still Austin, so this bottle, honestly, I need to give a shout out to one of my patrons, Tab. Tab sent me, uh, Tab Ray sent me this bottle. He's like, hey Judge, have you had this? I'm like, no, I have not. He's like, it's a really good whiskey. Uh, he's like, I think you're gonna enjoy it. So appreciate you, Tab, thank you for, um, for uh, providing this to me to get it on the channel for the Express Court. So what do we know about Still Austin? Couple things. Number one, Still Austin, guess where they're located? In Austin, <laughs> in Austin, Texas. So they're an up and coming uh, craft distillery in Austin, Texas. Um, when they first started out, they got a lot of like their guidance from like, you know, in terms of, you know, how to make whiskey, how to blend it, everything as a whole. A lot of guidance from the master blender guru that's out there. Nancy Fraley. When you think of Nancy Fraley, we all think of, at least I know I think of, her work over at Joseph Magnus, and by far, this being their best product, <laughs> the cigar blend. So Nancy Fraley, obviously she knows exactly what she's doing, so she was able to help out the team over at Still Austin to help them to create a lot of their whiskey. So they are, again, an up-and-coming distillery, craft distillery based out in Austin, Texas. The uh, master distiller over there, uh, John, I think it's pronounced Shreppel. So John and team learned a lot from Nancy. They have some other products on the market. They have one called like the Musician, but in the last year or so, they put out this one called, which is, I'm sorry, not called anything, but it's just still Austin, and it's their cash strength version. So this bad boy comes in at 118 proof. Mmm, 118 proof. Now the age is only two, two and a half years old, so it's a little bit younger on the young side, but I've heard nothing but good things, not only from Tab, but from other few other people as well. So 118 proof, a little bit over two years from an age standpoint. From a uh, mash bill, so mash bill we have 70% corn, 25% rye, and 5% malted barley. Ah, the nose is really nice actually. And then from a um, from a price standpoint, a little bit more expensive. This is about a $65 bottle, so definitely a little bit on the higher end. Again, they are new and upcoming distillery, so probably marked up a little bit, right? There's a lot of expenses when you're a newer distillery. Fully respect that. And from an availability standpoint, so before Tab sent me this bottle, which just a few months ago, I had never seen this on the East Coast, but I've seen this recently. I think I saw it in Maryland and maybe New Jersey, definitely in Maryland. Uh, I've seen uh, still Austin before, which is really cool. Man, so more about the whiskey. So Judge, what are we getting into in terms of the nose? First and foremost on the nose, this does not remind me of a traditional Texas whiskey. It doesn't have that like, you know, I always kind of refer to like burnt raisin, burnt uh, sugar kind of notes to it. It doesn't have that in the nose. This is more like a traditional bourbon. I'm getting a lot more, yeah, okay, I get that. Very peppery though, which makes sense. I mean, it does have 25% um, rye in the mash bill. Tons of like a lot of rye notes actually. A bit more like black licorice, some mint, some floral, combined with like your caramel, vanilla. Not bad. The nose is okay. It's okay. All right. Hey, I say this each and every week. Peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate each and every one of you out there. Thank you for all the love and support. Thanks, Tab, for providing this bottle to get it on the channel, my friend. Cheers, everybody. Wow, okay, that's not bad. Damn, all right, like, give me one second. Let me get a little bit more before we give a final verdict. Mm. Okay, so the nose, very decent, not bad at all. The palate, very similar. And I will say it's 100 and what, 118? Yeah, 118 proof. A nice long finish as a whole. The nose does actually match the palate. So the cool thing about this bottle is, is that this does not taste like a normal traditional Texas whiskey. So I know many of you out there are like, hey judge, I don't like te Texas whiskey. It doesn't taste like that at all. This actually tastes like normal standard bourbon as a whole that you would get, well, not only in Kentucky, but any other state as well. 
so this is by itself does not taste like a this is not like a um any other um garrison brothers or any of the other texas whiskey that out that's out there this is definitely a traditional standard bourbon i actually like this for the simple fact of it's nice uh, at 118 proof it's definitely bold um the palate does match the nose so a lot of those those floral notes a lot of like that mint the um licorice that did also transfer over into the palate so the verdict is in at 65 dollars might surprise you this is a split decision so judge keep it real why is it a split decision versus just either being a buy or do not buy i'm giving you a split decision for two reasons number one i think the palette was good it's just not as complex and as well-rounded as i would like it to be for a 65 dollar bottle what i do think is i do think this will be very great though i should say very great that's not even make sense this would be great rather <laughs> this would be great in about two more years give it like that four or five year range this is gonna be fantastic so it's just not as well rounded as it should be in my opinion um at 65 dollars if this was a 40 dollar bottle i would say it's a buy all day long so i'm giving a split decision only for the simple fact of is that it is good whiskey it's just priced a little bit higher than what it should be hey my friends until the next time peace cheers salute take care